sixth day of Christmas, the yarn fairy brought to me six emus pairing, five golden eagles, four Jaeger jackets, three scotch wools, two robin gloves, and a pattern by Peyton's. Please. So what did the yarn fairy bring on the sixth day of Christmas? I don't want to be ungrateful, yarn fairy. But a pair of emus doesn't sound like six patterns to me. You're going to have to explain yourself. Pattern pairs, you say? You mean like matchy-matchy outfits? Let's see what you found, as emu was a company started in the 1850s and was in family ownership until the 1970s. First gift from the Yarn Fairy was the emu pattern number 2228. And these are two suits in two different wools. Don't the ladies look pretty in pink or purple in one of the cases? The patterns cover bust sizes 32 to 40 inches and the hip measurements for the skirts are 34 to 42 inches. So you really can mix and match. I love the styling of the asymmetrical front, but do you like that style? The second pattern is number 2251. And it's also an outfit again with a skirt, jacket and a jumper. I don't think we can go any further without remarking on those sunflowers that were so of their time. The bust sizes again here were 32 to 40 inches and the hips 34 to 42 inches. I'm not sure if it will show up but there is a four row pattern on the jacket with a fringe applied to the collar. And Yarn Fairy, I applaud you found a jacket with pockets. I also really appreciate in this pattern it shows you the pattern sizes as if they were sewing patterns which makes it much easier to resize. A third of the emu patterns is sticking with a theme. It's also a suit jacket, skirt and jumper but this time it's in a 30 to 40 inch bust sizes and the jacket has 2 inches of positive ease with the skirt's actual measurements for 34 to 44 inch hips. Jacket looks more like a twin set on the picture, but maybe it'll knit up more like a jacket. Pattern has certainly seen a little damage in a knitting bag. That can be forgiven. And that was pattern number 2459. The fourth pattern is a child's coat and hat. I'm sure it would be just as adorable without the kittens playing in the background, but they really do help sell it. And the jacket has pockets which are applied. The jacket is for chest sizes 22 to 24 inches. And depending on the child, this would be targeting a four to six year old. So those pockets would definitely be used. The matching flap has ear flaps too. This treat from the yarn fairy is another child's pattern but this time for a 26 to 30 inch chest. So that's probably about a six to 10 year old approximately. And this is a sweater hat and cap pattern and it's number 6366. The pattern reminds me a bit of an Icelandic pattern with color work placed on the yokes, wrists and the bottom band. Although the back and front are knit separately, they're picked up to knit the yoke in the round on circular needles in this pattern. And the sixth pattern treat from the Yarn Fairy is a 1970s long line sweater and bell bottom trousers. The pattern for size is 30 to 40 inch bus and the trousers are knit in three sizes to fit either a 33 34 inch, a 36 37 inch or a 39 40 inch. And this pattern is number 2867. The trousers both have a zip faster and an elastic waist which if you went slightly wrong are hidden by the long top. Apart from the colour, the matchy matchy rib continues on the sleeves and waist. I know I knit and crochet a lot of matching items and I would love to hear in the comments if you do too. What was your favourite pattern today or outfit? Have you found some inspiration for a new cast on? I hope so. If not, maybe one of the other days in the series will give you some inspiration for some vintage knitting. To ensure you don't miss the next episode, I would love for you to click the subscribe button. I'm loving seeing the returning viewers and welcome to my new viewers. I am the Knitting Pattern Easter and I collect vintage knitting patterns. Till next time Pattern Easter, stay safe, stay healthy and happy knitting.